Hello, my friends. It is Saturday, and I overslept. Yeah, I had all these grand plans for this morning, and I didn't get to bed until like 2 a.m. Um, I had my whole Christmas house tour video edit it and upload it, and remembered I forgot to insert some pictures. So I pulled it down. It's scheduled. To, it was scheduled to go up um, Saturday morning at 11. I pulled it down. It only took me a second to re-edit, but then the upload and the processing and all that. You know, the best laid plans. So while that was doing, I figured, you know what? I might as well get my website done. One less thing to do Saturday morning because I'm supposed to be at my brother's house um, doing our last cornhole board that has to get out the door before Christmas. So that's where I'm heading this morning. As soon as I get my act together, I am making the giant stencils for it. This one just has a person's name on it with like lines above and below. I'll try to record it from my brothers. Um, so we're just gonna stencil that and that's it. We are done all of our Christmas orders. <sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Um, but it's been fun. You know, it just, when you get to this time of the year, you just get a little crazy. Um, so my plans are to go over and do that. My first plan is have a cup of tea because I not, have not even had a cup of tea yet. I hear Doug up there making them. Um, I'm going to have a cup of tea, have some breakfast, get over my brother's. I don't even think I'm going to shower, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to go just like this. I've got a hoodie and Christmas jammy pants that I made. So I think I'm going to go just like this. It's my brother's house, who cares? Um, Doug's gonna go with me because it's nice to have a third hand to place the stencils when they're this big. Um, I mean, his wife could probably help, but she's never done it before. And we kind of just want to get this done. So, Doug will probably go with me. And then he has a few errands, little errands to run today. He has to go pick up our raviolis for Christmas Eve. We could probably go Wednesday to pick them up, but I'm just so afraid they're always going to run out, even though they swear they won't. If we picked them up on Wednesday, we could just eat them fresh on Thursday. But picking them up today or tomorrow, we have to freeze them, which is fine. They're only going to be frozen for a couple days. But I'm rambling. So, um... And when I come home, I need to film what may be the last homemade gift DIY video. Um, so I have to do that. And I have to, that is, you probably already saw it, homemade dog treats. And then I have to make a crap ton of homemade dog treats because I sold a lot of orders of those. Um, people are picking up Monday and Tuesday. So I have to get all those done. They're, they're, very quick to make. Um, what else? And then I need to get some homemade gifts made because I'm making, I told you I'm making gift baskets for everybody in addition to their regular Christmas gifts. So I have a very busy day. Um, tomorrow, Grace is coming over and we're going to make all of our hot chocolate bombs. We have a crap ton of those to make. And then we're going to get takeout tomorrow. I'm flip-flopping my dinners for today and tomorrow. Um, so I didn't think it through all the way. With Grace and I busy making those chocolate bombs, we are just going to get takeout. We're going to have a late lunch, early dinner, and then we are going to go Christmas tree or Christmas late looking at. <laughs> so it's going to be a busy weekend. Should be a fun weekend. Um, I watched a new Christmas movie last night while I was editing, one that I've never seen before. Jingle All the Way. It was so funny. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Um, I've heard of it a million times, but never saw it. So that was cute. Um, just for background noise while I was doing my editing. So yeah, that's about it. So I will take you along on my weekend, show you what we're doing, what we're eating, all that fun stuff. Well, if you think it's fun. <laughs> and that's it. I'll be back with my breakfast. It's Saturday. You know what I'm having. Mushroom omelet, zero points on purple and blue, and six points on green, and three points worth of bacon. 
and a cup of tea. Gonna get this in my gut and get over to my brother's and get that started so I can get my own stuff done today. Okay, on my way to my brother's. I did get dressed. I did do my hair. I did put makeup on. I did all that because I may go to the Dollar Tree when we're done. Um, I am not finished up with stockings. All my shopping is done except for one gift card and stocking stuffer. And we don't, like we usually just do like fun treats for stockings, like just candy and favorite candies and just little trinkets, odds and ends. Um, Mostly like just fun treats so I bought some a friend of mine who makes amazing custom cookies I think I showed the ones we got for Adam when he left for college um, her mom does chocolate covered treats and she makes very good chocolate covered pretzels so I bought three snack bags for the boys for their stockings but pickup was yesterday and I was afraid that they wouldn't be as fresh come next Friday. So I gave them to them yesterday. So that's one less thing I have for their stockings. Um, they, every Friday at, during Doug's lunch hour, the three boys have been watching The Mandalorian together. It kills Adam, because Adam would stay up until like, what I think it's released at like 3 a.m. He would stay up till 3 a.m. last season and watch it as soon as it was released. But this year they decided to all watch it together and they're, they do it on Doug's lunch hour. Um, so that's their little thing. So yesterday when they all gathered to watch it, I gave them a special little Mandalorian treat and I gave them their chocolate covered pretzels. So one less thing for their stockings. But I was just gonna run down to the Dollar Tree and get some of the movie theater boxes of candy and just stuff like that to put in there. So I think I'll do that after I'm done at my brother's house. Um, that's my plan right now. And then I want to get home and start filming. So the best laid plans, we know how that goes. I'm hoping these boxes go quickly. That's my hope. We shall see. But I am pulling into my brother's driveway. Yes, my brother only lives just a few little miles away from me. Probably a mile and a half, I guess. Somewhere like that. So, I will try to film while we are doing a little stencil. This is two coats on this one. We need one more and then we have to put the stripes on. <sighs> yeah thought this one was going to be easy. Okay, seriously, what should have taken an hour and a half is now it's three o'clock. I got here at quarter to 11. Yeah, it should have taken an hour and a half. We had so much trouble getting the stencil to stick to the board and it's, this has never happened before but we normally stain the boards but this one's painted so I don't know if that was the problem or what and I don't know what Doug's enjoy or something in Doug's car um there we go yeah so needless to say my day is shot the head I thought I would have so much done by now and I don't but that's okay, because, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We always have a good time when we do it. My brother and I just hang out and talk, and it's all good. There's plenty of time. I'm going to, what am I going to do? I have no idea. I turned his, okay. Do you have a hard time when you're driving somebody else's car and you're not used to it? Everything's not in the same place. Um... I am going to go home and film the dog treats right now. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to just film the one batch. I, I think I need to make two batches to fill all my orders. And I'd like to get my sugar scrubs made and my fried walnuts made and get those all packaged up, put in a bin. I package them all in the bags, 
the fried walnuts and then I put them in an airtight bin so when I make the um, when I put together the baskets next week they'll just everything will be ready so that's my goal today um, I might put the boys on making the casserole for dinner and that way I don't have to do that they can work on that and then pop that in the oven when we want it I am hungry I mean I had a very good breakfast but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry but I really don't want to stop to take the time to eat so I will grab something quick um, I'm not sure what I don't know what there is to grab I forgot I wanted to send somebody to the deli today to get um, some deli meat and I didn't I forgot so whatever <laughs> tis the season to go crazy right it'll all get done I'm not worried about it I'm looking forward to tomorrow like I said um, Grace and I are going to be making hot chocolate bombs all day so that'll be fun we'll just put some Christmas movies on or some Christmas tunes and have a good time not sure what the guys are going to be doing while we're doing that. I may put them on some kind of detail. Yeah, I probably will. But anyway, that's that. And I will show you the dog biscuits when they're done. And I thought I'd have that. I thought I would be filmed and have it uploaded by now. Silly me. The best laid plans. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because I've talked way too long already and I am pulling in, but Adam is covering my driveway. Oh my goodness. It's hard having a, we have a three car driveway and four cars. So somebody's always out in the street. So, and usually it's Adam because he's got the oldest car. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Finally sitting down for dinner and it is the sour cream chicken enchilada bake six points on blue and purple and eight points on green and then I have a serving of the Mexican cauliflower rice that's left over we had it last night and that is one point for that so I have a seven point dinner on the blue plan I'm going to enjoy this and get back to making more dog biscuits so I'm getting ready to make another batch of dog biscuits and that I think will finish off all the orders that I had. Hopefully one more batch will. Um, but we finished dinner and Adam asked for a little dessert. So we're making some eggnog. Now, here's a warning. This is in no way WW friendly, not even a little. So if you wanna fast forward, fast forward. If you want to see our family recipe for eggnog, keep watching because this is a definite family recipe. It is a family favorite and it freaks people out sometimes because it has raw eggs in it. But in 30 some years, more than 30 years, I mean, I've been drinking it for 36 years. It's been around the family for, gosh, I don't even know how long. Since you were 60, years. 60 or more years. So nobody's gotten sick yet. Hopefully this won't be the year. So I'm gonna show you how I make it real quick because a lot of you have asked. You could probably lighten it up. There are just some recipes, honestly, I don't touch. This is one of them. So here's what we do. Three eggs. Feed them really, really, really well. Oh, why the eggs are going, I usually have my heavy cream going, but I don't want that going while the camera's running because it's just too noisy. I have one cup of whipping cream and we're going to beat that until it's stiff. But I'm going to do that, like I said, off camera just so. So once these are really, really well beaten, we're going to add in one cup. Now I am using the fat free sweetened condensed milk. Oh. I always use the fat free Adam. <laughs> and when he had me a scraper, when Doug's family makes this, cause it is his Aunt Jane's famous recipe. No, the other one. The little one. <laughs> okay, give me the one in your hand then. That's good. Um, 
they use whole milk. I am using 1%. They use whole milk. They use full fat, sweetened condensed milk. So I, I guess I have lightened it up a little bit. Hmm? 25 calories to 23. 25 points to 23? Yeah. I think I figured out it's like 18 points for a whole cup of it. Worth it. Back on the old points plus plan, it's not bad at all, but you know, sugar takes a hit on all the new plans. So, and then we're just gonna mix that in. Gotta really give it a good stir, cause it's thick. And then, woo, then we're gonna whisk in a quart or four cups of milk. Like I said, they use whole milk and oh, let me tell you, but it's still delicious this way. I should have used a bigger bowl. Oh yeah, I should have used a bigger bowl. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you, Adam? No, we're gonna need a bigger boat from Jaws. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not, come on. My classic movie's fanatic. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. And a dash of salt. Now, I'm gonna set this aside, because like I said, I, I wanna whip the cream, but I didn't wanna do it on camera. So I am gonna just turn this on and whip it until it is stiff, but don't let it turn into butter. I'll be back. Okay, so the whipped cream is whipped. I put the eggnog back in this big bowl. Now, you're supposed to gently fold this in. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. So I plop it in. <laughs> and then I whisk it. It all comes back together anyway. As soon as it sits, all of the whipped cream rises to the top and you kind of have to break it through again. Like each time you, you go to pour some or drink some. The cream rises to the top. The cream rises to the top, yes. So there you go. That is the eggnog that I have talked about like 20,000 times since Thanksgiving on my channel. And yes, I know it's raw eggs. And yes, I know, I know, I know. So please don't comment that, please. Cause I know. So you can put it in a punch bowl. You can put it in a pitcher. You can do whatever you want with it. Personally, here's what I like to do. <laughs> Just kidding. I might have like a couple little sips tonight, but I'm saving it for, oh yeah, nutmeg. Doug's going, nutmeg, you forgot the nutmeg. Yes, I put it in a glass and then I do fresh grated nutmeg over the top. Adam does not like nutmeg in his. Doug and I like extra nutmeg on ours. So there you have it. That's the eggnog. Now back to making those dog bones. Good Sunday morning. We are on our way to church. It is a very gray day here. If I didn't know better, I think it was gonna snow. It looks and feels like a snow is coming, but I don't think it's supposed to. Uh, we, might get we might get flurries, but like nothing, you know, thank goodness, because the other crap is still on the ground. Um, busy day planned. We ended up not getting to bed till almost midnight last night. By the time I got all of the dog treats packaged up and ready for pickups in the next three days, and Doug got almost all the wrapping done. The only things he didn't wrap are the things I told him not to because I needed to finish them up a little bit. Do a few little, combine, you know, like that was waiting for one more thing and this was waiting for one more thing. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty accomplished. Thanks to everybody pitching in. Um, Andrew was down in the kitchen emptying the dishwasher and cleaning up behind me and Adam, Adam actually, 
made my thumbnail for my video yesterday and he put the recipe up on my website for me and it was good because he did not realize how involved it is and how long it takes he could not believe it I'm like see so it was good for him to see that um, hopefully my Coles curbside order will be picked up or will be ready for pickup because Coles is literally like two minutes from church and I ordered it last night so I'm hoping they pull it this morning and I get a text while I'm in church saying that it's ready and we can just pick that up on the way home um, I need it Adam needed something we're doing a little project for a gift for his girlfriend um, that's a funny story I'll tell you about it after I don't think she watches but I'm not sure so I'll tell you about it after Christmas because yeah, it's a funny story um, and then oh, I ordered a pair of pajama pants for Doug Doug owns no pajamas Doug's a lounge pant sweatpant kind of guy um, like the light like t-shirt type lounge pants um, is what he wears around the house at night so Tuesday with the babies we're doing Polar Express Jommy Day and the littles want Mr. Doug to wear pajamas too everybody in the house has to wear pajamas so Mr. Doug has to wear pajamas and Adam has to wear pajamas and Andrew has to wear pajamas this is their rule so I had to find a pair of jammy pants he was just gonna borrow a pair of Adams and I'm like you know what you can lounge around the house and I'm let me just get your own well Coles was sold out of pretty much every size medium pajama pant but I did find a pair hopefully they'll be able to find them in the store we'll see if not he'll just borrow a pair of Adams because Adam has a lot of jammy pants so we just have to pick those up um, Andrew actually I don't know if I told you but last year when Andrew was home on break he was a little Santa's helper and he helped out Santa when Santa couldn't be at places where Santa needed to be and it was a pretty sweet gig but this year because you know COVID we didn't he didn't do any of that but one of my baby mamas asked if he could zoom in to her virtual class party and read a book as the big man so he's going to and it would have been perfect he could have done it right down in the living room in front of the Christmas tree but it'll I have a house full on Tuesday so that's not gonna work so he's gonna work with like some kind of green screens or something he's gonna mess with that today see if he can figure that out um, it'll be really cute and then of course he'll make an appearance at the Polar Express party so we have a lot of things to coordinate I want to get everything set up today. I want to get everything kind of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake some cutout cookies um, and let the babies just decorate them. In years past, we've made them from start, but with all of them this year, I don't know if we're really gonna have time on Tuesday. So I'm gonna make the cookies and just let them decorate them for a treat during our our movie watching. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a busy day. Um, I want to get. Andrew's chocolate chip cookies made today and I want to get the ricotta cookies made tomorrow and Andrew's on pit cell duty and I forgot to make that batter last night and the recipe I use I use a 12 eggs recipe it has to sit overnight so I guess I'll be making that whipping that up today and he can sit and make those for me tomorrow um, I kind of told him he was in charge of that. I don't know if he remembered, but... And he can't hear me because he probably has headphones in. So... Uh -huh. See, the one I'm not talking about oh. listens. Uh -huh. And you can't even see Andrew because he's behind me, so... Anyway, we are almost at church. So I will let you go. And I will be back. I am starving. I am so... As soon as we get home, I just want to like jump in and start getting stuff done. So I think we might just pick up bagels at Dunkin' or something, 
or breakfast sandwiches for the boys at Wawa. I don't know. Something will figure it out. But my kitchen is closed for breakfast this morning. Because last night at 10 o'clock, I was still wiping bacon grease off the stove. Because it's all good. Talk to you soon. Home from church and just having a... The guys all got breakfast sandwiches. The boys got them from Wawa. Doug got it from Dunkin'. Because they were using all the rewards on their apps. Um, I didn't want to spend all the points on any of that. So I just came home and scrambled up two eggs with some leftover mushrooms. So my breakfast is zero points. I'm saving all my points for whatever takeout we decide to get today. So, so much for getting home and getting to work. Doug was going to head out and get our, pick up our raviolis and pick up our rolls and stuff. Um, and the ravioli store and the bakery are like right next to each other, sort of, like a block away. So he was gonna go do that. We're just gonna freeze the, the rolls. Oh my gosh, this roll bakery is amazing. Um, like the rolls come right off the conveyor belt. Like you, you burn, they, your you burn your hands getting them off. I don't know if they let you do that now with COVID, but like before it was self-serve, like they would be coming out of the oven and you would be getting them. And they're very, very inexpensive because they're like the wholesaler. And this is where everybody gets their rolls for parties and stuff. And like if we were having a party, like, you know, a graduation party or christening or whatever, we would need lots and lots of rolls. And we would actually take like oven mitts with us because they were so hot. And if you have to get like, you know, 10 dozen rolls, then you're burning your hand. But I'm not sure if they let you do that right now with COVID. They're probably already prepackaged, uh, but they are so fresh and so delicious. And they have a lot of other really good stuff too. I am sure we will walk out of there, or I should say Doug, will walk out of there with what, Doug? Oh, I don't know, maybe some, um... His favorite thing to buy there is... I just lost it. Biscotti. Biscotti, thank you. I went out of my head. Yes, that's biscotti, his favorite yes. thing. We will definitely walk out of with biscotti. So, yeah, it's, it's really good. It used to be this dinky little, like, just the bakery but they actually expanded a little bit and made like a little retail section um, with baked goods and stuff like that. Like they've got pizza dough, they've got all kind of stuff, but their biscotti is really, really good. Um, I'm sure they have a crap ton of cookies for sale right now with the holidays. I mean, they always have cookies. I'm guessing there's cookies out all doors. Um, but we'll definitely pick up some biscotti Maybe we'll pick up a little extra for the holiday. And then, like I said, we'll just go to the ravioli store. Um, then I'm coming home and nose to the grind. But I didn't want Doug to go alone, so I just packed up my tea. This tea's making me sad. It's making me sad because it is the last cup I have of a limited edition tea. Um, Republic of Tea, I really like their tea. I order from there a lot. <laughs> They um, came out back when the uh, Downton Abbey movie came out. They came out with a bunch of Downton Abbey teas. You can still get a lot of them, but the one that was the limited edition, it was the Bates tea. They came out with two Bates teas, Brambleberry and the limited edition. Well, the limited edition I just fell in love with, and I had a huge stockpile of it. This is it, my last cup. I am so incredibly sad. I have looked everywhere for it, like, to see if anybody has the limited edition, like, any leftover, and I cannot find it. So, I am savoring every last drop of this cup of tea. Who knows, maybe they'll come out with it again. I really thought about emailing them and saying, look, I was in love with this tea. Do you have, can you suggest something that is very close to it? I may try the Brambleberry, I don't know, but man, the Bates Limited Edition was... <sighs> so I'm going to go enjoy my tea, chit chat with my extremely handsome husband. <laughs> ah, and I think he looks so cute today. He sang beautifully at church. We were packed, we had to turn so many people away and that makes me so sad, but... You can't expect to come five minutes late and get a seat. So come early, people. Come early. It makes me 
makes me sad, but it happens. I'm worried about Christmas. We're doing the Christmas Eve six o'clock mass. We're going to do overflow in the hall, so at least we'll be able to see like twice the amount of people, but I'm sure people won't be happy about being in the hall, but get there early. We have to be there like an hour before mass even starts because it's going to be crazy, we think. We don't know. We don't know. It could go either way. So we'll find out Friday, Thursday, Thursday night we'll find out. Anyway, if I can, I'll try to get a little footage in the bakery. I'm not sure if I can or not. Um, and then I'll show you what Grace and I are doing this afternoon. Waiting for Grace to get here, I'm going to start my pit cells. The batter, because we like the batter to sit overnight, so I'm going to make the batter now. Andrew's going to start cooking them tomorrow. My recipe is my mom's recipe. It takes, ready for this, 12 eggs, 2 cups of sugar, 2 cups of oil, a tablespoon of anise, and 4 cups of flour. It makes a crap ton of pit cells. But that's okay. They will be given away and some will be eaten. Pizza, it's what's for dinner. That's what we decided on for takeout. And we also have some cheesesteak stromboli and some wings. After this, we're going to finish up our chocolate bombs and head out to look at lights. So Grace and I are kicking out the hot chocolate bombs. Although Grace did have the hot chocolate part taken away from her. <laughs> she was having issues. I'm kidding. She was fine. Look, I'm even having issues. Grace needs about 10 of them for gifts. I need about 40. So I don't think we're going to get them all done tonight because it is starting to get dark and... We are going to head out to look at Christmas lights when we get Grace's made. Give it a little push down. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> so we have a lot more to make. It's dark. Yes, bottom. That's not any better. We are heading out to look at Christmas lights. We did 12 chocolate hot chocolate bombs for Grace and I still needed to get mine done. I'll get them done eventually. I have somebody picking up three tomorrow. So as long as I get three done, I'm good. I don't know what that little, can you see that little blue dot? That's weird. Anyway, we are heading to the light show that's in the next town over first. And then a couple other places. I will be sure to film them for you. We are at the place right near our house. It is like literally two and a half minutes from our house. So that's kind of cool. So we will go through and look at all the lights. This is the first year they've had it here, so not sure what to expect. Okay, just pulling in. Thank you. 
This is what the locals call the Griswold House. This family has actually been on national news because of their display. Not only do they do this really awesome National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation display, but they also are a Toys for Tots drop-off location. Each year they seem to add a little something else. Last year was the police car you just saw. And this year is that statue of Clark Griswold. And it does play music, just like in the uh, movie. It, it just had, there's a soundtrack, it plays all the songs from the movie, but he actually moves and plugs in the lights. They have the station wagon with the big tree on the back, roots and all. And then Uncle Eddie's RV is actually where they collect all the toys. On a weekend, they fill this RV several times. This is a house that's in the next town over for us, from us. And they have a huge corner property and every square inch of it is decorated. You can see even the grass is decorated. It is absolutely unbelievable. This display is actually a few towns from us, about 15-20 minutes away. It's called the Haggerty Family Christmas, and they have been doing this for more years than anyone can count. It's in a cute little town called Pittman in the area they call The Grove, and they really go all out. There's a bunch of neighbors that do it, but it's mostly the Haggertys, and they do it in memory of their dad. So it's a really nice little town and just something really fun to do at Christmas.
so we are freezing <laughs> and oops they are all the decorations that we saw tonight um i hope you enjoyed them i did you know it was a long video so i sped the decorations up a little bit and just put music through them because we were talking and there were crowds and but it was a lot of fun um the griswold house has been on national news the amount of people that come through there and the amount of toys they collect is insane insane i mean like they practically on weekends the rv gets filled several times in a weekend so it's totally awesome but that is it for me um i'm gonna head home i have a couple more hot chocolate bombs that i have to make tonight i really don't feel like it Maybe I'll make them in the morning. I'll probably just do them tonight because we kind of left everything out so I could just do them. I just have three that are being picked up tomorrow. So that's all I really have to do. I mean, I'll probably end up doing, I don't know. We'll see. But I want to get to bed early tonight because we've had a very long and very tiring weekend. But I appreciate you spending some time with us. And I should be back tomorrow with a full day of eating. Just a quickie video. Um, there'll be a, a Tuesday tag up on Tuesday. It'll be Christmas tag number two. And then Wednesday, weigh in. It's going to be ugly. I was a little bit of a cookie monster this weekend. But see, one, like I make a, a cookie and I'm like, oh, cookie. But then like, okay, I'm done. Like I don't need any more. So I don't know. But I, I actually wasn't as bad as I would have been in the past it just feels worse than it really is so we'll see it is what it is it is what it is I am enjoying my family I am enjoying the holiday I am enjoying all our traditions but I am really being mindful so we'll see how it all plays out won't we and then the end of the week this filming schedule is going to be a little different because of the holiday I probably won't do my menu until Saturday we'll see I'm going to just play it by ear so thanks again for watching. I would love you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and become a member of my community. Have a great night, everyone, and I will see you soon.